Good morning, USA! Uh, Nala's coming to show you her outfit. She could hardly resist. This is the full outfit with these. They can't see my shoes. You have to be a little louder, too. This is the full outfit. Here it is. She uh, has I have head down bows. a little. She's got bows. I got new bows yesterday, and then they have earrings. Matching pearls mm -hmm. and then to the bows. And then this I've had this outfit for She got it for Christmas. Last Did you year. wear it on Christmas? Mm -hmm. She wore it on Christmas last year. And then these shoes with these like very old socks. I've had them since like 2018. 2018, those are now vintage socks. Well, okay. I don't know. I don't remember. I was like. Put all the stuff in the dishwasher, people. Okay. Whoever has plates out. Because he hasn't done the bottom yet. Why didn't you do this? Oh, I ended up running it. Oh. Yeah, sorry. It's because I told me yesterday I wasn't going to. But there's barely anything down there. Well, I didn't hear you say that, so I didn't do the job. <laughs> but I did run it, so. Any hoodly doodly. I just blow dried. I blow dried it. Blow dried my hair. Um, it feels so good to have clean hair. Just freshly washed. It's just, it's, it's lovely. Today's Thursday, and tomorrow I'm gonna be making cookies all day long. Um, Today we almost. Have a guest. Oh, who's our guest? Oh. So, actually, today, my friend's coming over during the day. That's why I was surprised he said that, because I was like, what you mean? How'd you know what I was doing? Y'all be reading we my messages? Yes. We have a guest. The kids will also... Me, okay, me put that knife away. Okay, the kids will also be having a little play date or whatever later. Um, their friend will be coming by later. And, uh, see, now I so wish we had the pillow sacks already so the kids could play downstairs. But we they will, still, anyways. Yeah, I mean, they still can. But... Uh, I think my mom's gonna drop by as well. She needs big pot. Yeah, you won't be here. She <laughs> needs big piping Grandma? tips. She needs big piping tips. She does? Yeah, she needs to borrow one. She's gotta pipe some cookies. She's making cookies all day today. I'm making cookies all day tomorrow. And I, guess what? I get to frost some, and also I get to make the peppermint mocha ones. Well, not make, but like do the- Dip them in the- Peppermint mocha cookies are my favorite cookies, even though I really just like chocolate. But they have weird. but they have white chocolate and peppermint sprinkles, so wow. And tomorrow night we're actually going out. We're gonna have a little I get to wear my fancy FTF dress. Yes, Nala's dress, which Fits is amazingly too now. short for her. It is. Um, okay, go ahead and put your stuff in here now. It is too short for her, but that dress was custom made um, like for her. It was tailored down to her. They did that with two of my dresses. Yeah, she does fit it better now, so she wants a chance to wear it out. And I've been like wanting to go to the melting pot like for months. I just I have I don't know I had like a little itch I wanted to scratch there. So we're gonna go tomorrow night just as a family, just you know, cool little fam bam we'll dinner. Bring 50 people. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Let's party at the melting pot. Every but we're all sharing one pot. Yeah. I do like the melting pot. <laughs> I feel like you don't leave hungry, even though I feel like you really don't eat very much. Your hair really did come out so cute today. Oh, I, like, I mean, as it dries, it'll look even cuter. I know, I we did this hair style yesterday, but without the bows. But now, because I got bows yesterday, because I convinced mother. Oh, oh. I look very good. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we'll check you guys in a bit. I am excited for tomorrow's cookie making. It's gonna be an all day extravaganza. Yes, she's so cute. I know, she's adorable and tiny. I love little tiny kids. I never had tiny, tiny kids. Mine were very cute, but they were never tiny. We probably went when we came out the womb for a small minute. For like six seconds, y'all were small. And then you were like, blood up. <coughs> big babies. Especially Jay. Big baby Jay over there. Jay was a big boy when he was a little boy. <laughs> Those of you that buy a million candles, you know who you are, um, or have a million candles. Do you really burn them? Because I feel like I have to remind myself to burn them. It's like my 10,000 face creams. Like, yeah, I'll use them. But I gotta remind myself to use them. I don't naturally wake up like, ooh, let me go set the mood and light a candle. Like I have always kind of wished I was that girl, but I hate fire. <laughs> it's terrifying, I've always hated fire. I've always been afraid of lighters and everything else. I think just because I'm grown and I'm not allowed to have like 
childish fears at least that's how it feels to me like i'm not allowed to be fearful of like a lighter anymore because i can't pass on to my kids to be afraid to go like this right this is not real fire but it's still scary <laughs> so there are little fears like that that i don't allow myself to fully succumb to but just know i would girl if I didn't feel like it was gonna be a detriment to my actual children if I continued to be done. It's not It's not just the lighter thing. There are many other stupid little things that I, I had problem with and I just forced myself out of it. So I have to force myself to light a candle because while sure the scents I'm sure are lovely, I can only smell every other scent basically. When something smells real bad, a lot of times I can't smell it. When something smells real good, a lot of times I can't smell it. Um, when I cook broccoli, I can smell it. When I spray my perfume now, I can smell like 90% of my perfumes, I can smell them. Not all of them. <laughs> um, and when I do certain things, I can smell it. But when, you know, like the other day we were in the car and Lewis and Jay were like, what is that smell? And they both were like, it was something real. And I was like, I literally smell nothing. So the candles are kind of just for funsies for the sake of other people smelling them these days. But do you guys really burn them? Because, <sighs> I love running out of stuff. It's my favorite. Like using something for its purpose and then running out of it. It's like my favorite thing because I hate to be super wasteful and the abundance of candles that I had at the other house, good, goodness, goodness, too many. So I'm gonna burn this and I hope it smells good. I don't know. <laughs> I can't really smell it. It's the white barn something, something. White barn, salted caramel. The salted caramel smell good. I'm just curious if you guys like wake up and put on a candle. But you know what? I did see those um, lamp candle warmer things. Do any of you have those? I think they're cute. It's giving seance. <laughs> and we don't play that here, homie. So um, I think those are so cool, but I don't know where I would put it. But I like it because like it wouldn't bother the cats, you know, and um, they wouldn't like be trying to sniff the fire, etc., etc. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna put this over there and then make a coffee and chill. My friend will probably come over for a few hours. We'll just chill, hang, chat, catch up, and my mama's gonna come by, so. You never do know with Patty. You don't know how long she's gonna be here, but I think she's busy, so probably not that long. But I haven't seen her like all week. Ding, ding, da, ding, ding, ding. No, don't do that, that's weird. You're still here. Might as well make our coffee together. I got a lot of questions. I chinelas. Clearly, the water refiller did not refill the water. I got a lot of questions about whether or not I really like the ice maker and is it worth it and do I regret it, etc., etc. Freaking love it. It makes ice really fast. It's pretty clutch when it comes to like gatherings and stuff. Although, I have too many people. So what ends up happening, what I do now is I'm gonna be emptying it into like a bowl, putting the bowl in the freezer and then letting it fill. Because like two containers worth of that ice is good for a party for me. Um, but it doesn't take long to make ice. It's really fast at making ice, but it cannot keep up with the demand of my ice obsessed family apparently. I don't know, I ran out of ice last time and I was like, hey, can y'all chill? The drinks are literally cold. Can we be a little more European up in this piece? Okay, all this ice. You're American is showing right now. Cut it out, you're making me look bad because I ain't got no damn ice for y'all. So, and the, we even ran out of the fridge ice. Like they were in lines waiting for ice. And I was like, hey, y'all need to chill for real because you're overdoing it and you're, you're overdoing it. Oh, you guys know what I read the other day or finished or listened to, whatever. The American Roommate Experiment, okay? And I was telling you guys, or maybe I clipped it out. But I was on the vlog telling you guys how I don't, I didn't really, I wasn't enjoying it because I don't know, I just thought the characters, they just weren't really it for me. Like they weren't, they weren't doing it for me. And I did end up listening to the audiobook. So ugh, there were, I had some issues with the audiobook, but whatever. Overall, once I got over the hump in the beginning, I did end up enjoying that book. I think that she does a good job at a slow burn. This one, the only reason it kind of bothered me is because it was obvious that they liked each other. And I like for the slow burn to be like genuinely, y'all don't know. Like you don't know you're into each other. I need a real slow burn. Like I don't want that, oh I like you and you like me but I'll never be good enough for you. I hate that, shut up. You're not good enough for me. Okay then you're not good enough for me. Okay bye, then what are we doing? Bye. 
okay? Like, I hate, I hate that. I hate that in a story. So there was some of that, but overall, I think she does a decent job with the slow burn, but she does a good job in her steamy scenes, bro. Like, she, she'd be coming out of, like, a different area than other people. Not, like, crazy. She doesn't get too crazy. I've read some, definitely some, some, some different, better, very, you know, I've read some other stuff, but... As far as a traditionally published gal, I think she does a good job with her spicy scenes. So I ended up giving that book a 3.5 stars and I did enjoy it, not nearly as much as the Spanish Love Deception. And when Aaron Blackford was in this book, he's from the Spanish Love Deception, I was like, dog, you my dog, I miss you dog. So I, I still love him, but ma'am, the narrators. So some of y'all hate the male narrator. He's got a thick old accent, he's, you know, he, he should. But the female narrator, when it's it's dual POV, right? So when the fem female narrator is narrating a scene from the female protagonist's point of view and the male protagonist is speaking in that scene, she will make a male voice. Same thing happens the other way. If it's a male narrator reading the male POV, but the female speaking in his chapter, he will throw his voice to sound like a female, okay? No, it doesn't normally work. This one, it didn't bother me that much. Uh, worst best man, oh my gosh. When the guy was doing the girl's voice in that one, made her sound like, uh, no. Just, that's, that's how you don't narrate. But in this one, he kept calling her preciosa. And the female narrator kept making the character say it, preciosa. And okay, some people have an accent like that, but then the male narrator would come in as the male character and say, preciosa, preciosa. And the girl, I'm only mentioning it because it's said about a million times, okay? Think of like Fifty Shades of Grey, my inner goddess screamed. Think of like that amount of times, okay? The word, the word preciosa is said, and it drove me insane how thick she made the accent on that one word. It drove me insane. I almost shut the book off. Preciota. Pre oh, and then he whispered, preciota. Like, damn, it takes him to spit out your mouth, girl. Let him have a voice. Because then he comes in like, preciosa. And I'm like, that's what he's trying to say. He's trying to call her preciosa. Now, I don't know. I think he's from Spain, so he very well might have had that, like, in his, you know, Spanish. But... The male narrator wasn't doing that, so the female narrator. Y'all should have got together and talked. Crash. I, I sit on the smallest chair so that he'll be like, no, I would never. And then he just does. Because why wouldn't he? He's Crash. Destroyer of chairs. <laughs> Crash. Crashy baby. Crash. I watch those rescue people and they're like, you always want to pick them up, you know, from back here. And I'm like, do you? I always like gently grab it, right? And they don't mind it. But I'm like, you pick him up from there? My boy? He's 47 pounds. Can't do that. <laughs> Just kidding. He's not 47 pounds. <laughs> January, February, March. April. Hi, I just got a couple of packages and I wanted to show you one of them because I think that it's something interesting that well i don't know how interesting this but um i don't actually know for sure what's in here but i'm guessing it's this thing that i ordered a couple weeks ago off of etsy and yes it is so it's a display um for my wands <laughs> did you know that's where i was going with this so this is how they wrapped it up oh hogwarts tissue paper oh how cute i didn't even see that yet okay it's like a little uh bookmark but it looks like eddie potter you're a wizard, Harry. Um, my favorite Hagrid line. And then, thank you for supporting my business, for sure. And then we also got the, uh, <laughs> I was about to call it the Holy Trinity. <laughs> Is that the Holy Trinity? The Deathly Hallows. <laughs> Not the same. Um, let's open these up. So these, I think are just like, I think they're like 3D printed. So I wasn't sure what they were going to feel like but I ended up getting two because I have two wands and I wanted to display them I think somewhere on my bookshelf probably so I ordered two of these displays and you can get them in different ways yeah so they're really light because they're basically plastic right so I got the Slytherin one 
And in a second you'll probably realize why I got them the way I did. So I got it in like this gray color and then I had the um, Slytherin like little emblem thing. I had that done in green. You can get it done in, uh, I think, like no color so that it's all kind of like one, you know. And then the other one I got, can you guess? Yeah, I got Ravenclaw because my name is Sarah Ray. <laughs> so I thought that'd be cool to get these two. So um, I kind of wish they faced each other, but no, they don't make sense with the wands I have. Well, one of them makes sense because I have Voldemort's wand and then I have Hermione's wand. Um, so Hermione's wand is just gonna go on the Ravenclaw one for now. So I got these when I went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter the last time I went with the kids. The kids each have their own as well. I was gonna get the kind that you'd like display on the wall, but it's not really that serious. I just kind of wanted somewhere to put them so that they wouldn't just sit in a box and, you know, be a waste. We have our little display, and then we have Voldemort's wand, and we're just gonna sit that right there, probably like this. No, probably like this. I don't know. Yeah, probably like this. And it's just notched out, and now, boom. It's just got a little display. I don't know where I should put it. Should I put it up there? Okay, I just thought I would mention these. Um, I'll include the links to these. Like I said, they took a few weeks, so it wouldn't really work for like a Christmas gift, but just in case you were curious, girl. Hey girl, it's me, back in the literal exact same spot. <laughs> uh, my friend just left. My mom came by too. Um, but we'll see her another day. So, I'm thinking about starting the cookies today, actually, or like, do you think I should do it tomorrow? I don't know. The kids have a play date tonight. Adorable, right? Are we still calling it that, even though they're like 17 years old? JK, they're not 17. I don't know exactly what I got. Oh, this is a book I got from my nephew. A day in the life of a poo, a new and you. I don't know what that means, y'all, but it looked fun. She put it on the list for him. These are all gifts for my nieces and nephews, I believe. Oh, just kidding. These are those lights I was telling you I ordered and I did not need. More lights! Should I put them up? That's the question. Like, it's already the 15th. Christmas is in 10 days. Should I really decorate the one last tree? I mean, probably not, right? Oh, this is actually from a company that I'm thinking about working with. Um, so they sent me some stuff to try. Have you guys, have any of you guys ever tried Catalina Crunch? It looks really good. I'd heard of it. Spicy Kick Crunch Mix. And I think some of them are supposed to, oh, they're all keto friendly. Okay, which keto friendly means what? High in protein and fiber, low carbs. I mean, it looks, it, I'm excited to try it because I've never tried it before. Traditional Crunch Mix, it gives me like a Chex Mix kind of vibe. Ooh, Creamy Ranch Crunch Mix. This one looks good. This one has like nuts and stuff in it. Cheddar Crunch Mix. Don't play with me, girl. I'm about to be crunched up. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. Oh, and then these are the ones. These I felt like I saw them at a store or something. I don't remember. But I think these are the cereals. Yes, the chocolate peanut butter cereal looks really good. I like cereal like that, like those flat squares, you know. Honey Graham cereal. I bet one is cinnamon. Dark chocolate cereal. Cinnamon toast, no. Yes, cinnamon toast cereal. Okay, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Should we just try one? Let's just try one. I'm a huge Cinnamon Toast Crunch fan. It's like one of my favorite cereals. What are your guys' favorite cereals? Lately I've been eating honeycomb. Oh, they're so little. Look, they're so, you can't tell, they're so little. At 11 grams of fiber and half a cup. Oh, they're plant-based. Protein and fiber with zero added sugar. Oh, they have no added sugar. Nice. I like it. It's not super cinnamony. I like it. I would probably add some of my own cinnamon. And then the last two things they sent, oh my God, they sent cookies. <laughs> cookies. Oh, okay, they sent cookies. They sent vanilla cream cookies, chocolate mint sandwich cookies. Peanut butter cookies, chocolate vanilla cookies, and speaking of tiny boxes of cookies, that one looks good. Should I try one of these? Oh, vanilla. I am a sucker for vanilla. Okay, speaking of, I'm almost positive today's the 15th, which means that 
as of today, Nala is officially selling her Girl Scout cookies again. So if you want to get Girl Scout cookies and have them like delivered to your house, oh, cute. Uh, you can, I'll leave her link for you guys. Please do not do in-person local delivery. I will cancel your order. Not because I don't like you, girl, but because I don't know you. Not you, but like the person that would secretly like mug me, kill me, etc. Okay, that tastes like a cookie. Oh, I can't pick them apart, probably because it was sitting outside. I like this one. Two cookies, 90 calories, 12 carbs, six grams of fat, two sugars. Okay, two added sugars. Allulose? Oh, is that what they're... Okay, they put cane sugar, but before that they put allulose. Is that an artificial sweetener? I've never seen that listed on a nutritional facts before. Four grams of protein. Okay, I like it. Oh, these would be good in creamies. If I was doing creamies with like Fairlife and then I was mixing cookies in, stop it. Or the granola, stop it. Okay, I'm gonna put all this in my pantry. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna have the kids try it and if we all continue to actually like enjoy it and you know, whatever, you will see a sponsored version of this thing coming in the next few months. I like that cookie though, I might have another one. Mm, maybe I should try a different one. Okay, wait, let me chill. <laughs> let me make breakfast and then reassess whether or not I really want another cookie. Uh, you know the love sack I bought yesterday? Would you believe me if I told you it's sitting outside right now? Two of the sectionals have already arrived today. It has not even been 24 hours. What in the Amazon is going on? For anyone who was curious at all why someone like myself would feel the need to set up a delivery man table, here it is, y'all. I get so many packages. Yes, it's Christmas time, so I get a few extra, but on a regular basis, it's probably anywhere between, I don't know, 20 to 30, probably, on a regular basis, um, a week. So, you know. Oh, do you want updates? Damn it, I sliced right through that. And it was a gift. Cheese and crackers. So, whatever. It's okay that I sliced through it, I guess. I'm just put a piece of tape on that. You know what this is? This is an AirPod cleaner, okay? This little thing over here, you can clean, it has different attachments and you can clean your earbuds with it. And I'm giving this to my son, Jade. You know what, I'll just give it to him. It doesn't need to be a gift, it's fine. But he wears AirPods a lot and so do I, but I clean mine every single time I wear them. So this, I bought vegetable glycerin the other day because I saw someone online doing like cookie tutorials all month long and I was like live, laugh, loving it. And she made really good looking icing and she was saying that she uses vegetable glycerin. And that was the second person this week that I heard using vegetable glycerin. So I was like, I'm gonna get vegetable glycerin. <laughs> so I did. And then she was also using deluxe meringue powder. So I picked up deluxe meringue powder because if Regina George does it, Sarah Ray Vargas does it. Oh! These are the covers. These are the covers for the Squatamen. So I can show you what I got. I got this and I think it looks like, it feels really, really nice like a faux fur. And then I think it's going to work out really well um, with the colors in the basement. So I'm gonna put those to the side cause I will get that in a minute from outside. I have like an hour and a half before I gotta go get the kids. So I might do those and then I'll show you guys what they look like put together. This box is from Thrive Market. So I don't think it has anything wildly exciting. I think I saw someone trying some ramen and I was like, oh, I wanna try that ramen. Um, and I couldn't find it anywhere for a good price. And by anywhere, I mean Amazon, the one place I looked. So, oh, this is big. Okay, I got the Zero Sugar Barista Oat Milk Cinnamon Dolce. Now when it says zero sugar, that normally means that there is fake sugar. There are fake sugars in here. <laughs> there is erythritol. So 70 calories for eight ounces. I think I might make myself a second coffee. Oh, the baby moms, what's up, kooks? Um, Coco's never hanging around here. She said bye. Not without my paycheck, okay, girl? So I think I might make myself a little um, drink with this one. And then these, I was so excited for because I used to eat these all the time. That year where I was like only letting myself eat like a thousand calories a day and I was losing mad weight, duh. And then I gained it all back lightning speed, <laughs> duh. Um, that year I was tearing up some Brahmies, which is funny because that's also the shirt that I wear that has the bra built in. I think they call those Brammies. I don't know. But 
Brahmies. If you've not ever had them, uh, one of these was free because Thrive Market is always giving you free stuff. I'll put my Thrive Market code. Thrive Market is like an online grocery store basically and it usually takes them a couple of days to get to you. You do like a subscription. I was sharing one with my mom I think for a while there. But I like it for stuff that I would get at like Whole Foods. Instead of going to Whole Foods, I just order from Thrive Market. And they usually have really good deals. They usually give you something a little free. And then they usually have a really good variety of things that normally I have to source from, like I said, Whole Foods, the vitamin shop, like a variety of other healthy food stores. So they have frozen stuff and refrigerated stuff, pantry stuff. They have home stuff. They have you know your regular regular what is that what is that you know what y'all i'm gonna figure it out later i think it's part of a banana but it looks like a booger of course um yeah i'll put my code i think the code gets you does it get you 40 dollars off i don't know i'm not gonna say what it gets you because i don't know but i'll put the little code if you want to try out thrive market i worked with them years and years and years ago and i continue to be a member for years and years and years I pay for it so I genuinely like it and then I got another cookie butter nut pod but yeah my lupima lupini beans is what brahmis are they are lupini beans so I love them this one is sea salt and vinegar calabrian peppers and then garlic and rosemary personally I think they're tasty there's five servings 15 beans 35 calories for 15 beans four grams of protein lots they're, they're good and then I got the mini pack as well so I can stick these in the car this is perfect for me in the car so these are like little individual servings right I'll open one and eat one right now okay let me wash my hands real quick all right hands are washed let me try these <clears throat> remind myself what they taste like if you guys order any food online I think I've told you that I've had really bad luck ordering food through Amazon um, so I try to avoid it but my mom does it and she doesn't have an issue they're beans but they have a little flavor it's a good little snack it's got protein i'm so glad these are back in my life these were like one of my favorite little snacks okay they look like this like little flat beans but they're so tasty and i love them i'm also not a big fan of hummus do you guys like hummus i only like it if it's like covered in something else like when they do the olive tapenade hummus that's fire but it's fire because olive tapenade is fire regular hummus though i don't get down with it so unless it's drenched in oils and spices and yada yada it's not for me so i decided to try the roman lupini dip and it's in mediterranean olive so it doesn't have it like sitting in the middle same company it says it's new so it's mixed in as opposed to just sitting on the top i really prefer that honestly and then the whole reason i placed the order was because someone online was raving about these ramens and yes there's something special to them okay so they're supposed to be like i think they're like lower carb or something so 22 grams of protein five net carbs 310 calories yada 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 that's a lot of protein for some pasta what's this made out of pumpkin seed protein wheat gluten and food starch modified with blah 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 oil yeast whatever so i got the shrimp the black garlic chicken and the spicy beef and maybe i'll have one of these today so i can tell you how i feel about it because i don't have anything planned for dinner look at him isn't the logo so cute <laughs> he's so cute i love it i'll have you know i did go back for another cookie after having breakfast and deciding i wanted one i ended up trying the peanut butter one i like that one i feel like it's gonna taste so good like i want to freeze some fair life milk tonight maybe with like a little bit of like a what goes good with peanut butter chocolate right so i don't want to make it chocolatey maybe though maybe with like some cocoa powder and then um add some of those little peanut butter cookies maybe like a few like chocolate chips or something sounds solid so this is a squatamon why can't they just name things normal things i don't know it's obviously an ottoman uh so these ones come already puffed the pillow sacks that i'm getting I think they take like 48 hours to fully come up. You know, like when you buy like a mattress online and it comes shipped in a box and then you gotta let it expand. So squatamins are the same. <laughs> Not squatamins, the sacks are the same. You have to do the same thing pretty much. So this is just an insert, but the bottom is hard. And then this is it. This is the whole 
kit and caboodle. She was like, it is kind of annoying to put the thing on, so just know that. And I was like, girl, annoying is my middle name. Because I'm kind of annoying. When you guys said that you ended up getting a love sack and you put it together, <laughs> and then you came back to say like, uh, your mother's a saint for helping you with that because it's a horrible experience. Yeah, it's not a horrible, horrible. Maybe I'm, you know, misquoting, but it's it's not it's not the best all right oh my gosh this hurts your fingers Woo. okay it's kind of hard to grip sorry today doesn't have a whole lot going on um guys first of all oh, I'm so sad. oh my god girl you fell you were so clumsy you were so clumsy uh so it's snowing outside how magical hey does it snow <laughs> sorry that was aggressive does it snow where you guys are where do you live does it snow there is it like snowy tundra, like, you know, truly death-defying things? Or is it like regular, pretty, hallmarky snow, you know, where you get it like a couple of times and then it goes away and it's beautiful? Um, anyway, what I wanted to say is I made a cafecito. Aquí está. And I used that Nut Pods Barista Oat Milk. Baby. Baby. With my regular combination, so let that be said with my sweet italian creamer the zero sugar one and then i use a little bit of white chocolate and a little bit of peppermint or just white chocolate or just vanilla whatever a little bit of coffee syrup um girl uh, my normal coffee is delicious when i use regular unsweetened vanilla almond milk but using the nut pods barista oat milk the cinnamon dolce with my little bit of you know syrup and then my sweet italian creamer with a like a shot or two of espresso in it so good this is so freaking good i put it in a little to-go cup because i couldn't find my uh my other one but you know what's funny is normally i just use my little reusable like thermos or whatever but when i drink it out of a to-go cup it just feels like i bought it while it was out <laughs> and it makes me feel like oh look at this special little treat you're having but like it's it is a special little treat because i made it myself and i'd be making it better then half of them drinks that I tend to order suck. <laughs> so normally the ones I make do taste better, but I'm just saying this makes me feel like this gives me the vibe. So if you're missing your coffee house, coffee stuff, you know, maybe it's just a different vessel. You need to put it in a different cup. This is one of those days that once again would not be a vlog. If not for vlogmas, who do you guys watch for vlogmas? I watch no one. Um, so I would love to know who you guys are keeping up with. Who's your who's your vlogmas, uh, you know, road dogs? Who are you guys like watching and waiting? And are other people doing it every single day? Because how do they do it? <sighs> I'm getting tired, girl. <laughs> I'm running out of life. I'm running out of life to live on camera. I bought Jaden a dry rub. Like, I bought like a rub. I bought Jay this like AirPod cleaner thing, and it comes. It's a whole kit. Ugh. Don't do it right now. Don't do it right now. I can't watch it. And I got 10,000 more packages, but it might be for people that are here, so let's take our leave, oh, ladies and gents. You guys want an update on how our on how our delivery table is going? Um, there's one man who keeps coming back to get the double espresso drinks, the Starbucks thing, and um, yesterday I went and I got him vanillas. And today I was like, hmm, is he gonna take the mocha like he's been taking or is he gonna take the vanilla? And he took the vanilla and he took a Kit Kat. We're running out of Kit Kats, dog, so he's gonna have to switch it up because I'm not gonna refill new Kit Kats knowing I got 10,000 Reese's and everything else. Um, oh, maybe he's like allergic to peanut butter. I don't know what his life is. Maybe I should get more Kit Kats. Okay, I'm gonna open these real quick because I refuse to let the packages get away from me i don't know what they are i only know what's in one of them but i know this is like the time for things to start showing up anyway so okay i figured out what this one is i did a job with jane.com and i made gift guides right and so i was like oh this stuff is so cute and it's like so on sale and it's like i'm gonna get some stuff so i ordered some things this is actually a set of packing cubes but i thought this color was really nice and we have some packing cubes I have like a variety i usually scoop some up once or twice a year because the more we move and pack and the older the kids get like the more 
you know, they use. So we don't quite have enough for all of us to be able to get our stuff in there when we travel together. So this is a set and this is identical to the set that I had gotten previously um, on Amazon, but the ones on Amazon were kind of gaudy. And this is the same like laundry pouch. There's like another little pouch and then there's like two smaller mesh cubes, I guess, packing cubes. And so I got this on Jane.com and I was like, that's real cute. And it was really affordable because everything is super affordable on that website. Oh, I got this shirt too. And you know what I don't like? So I got this for um, Jay. And you know what I don't like is that I bought, I bought a few, right? Let me show you the other ones though. Because that's like a regular regular shirt. And Hot Topic does this. And I don't know if anyone else does. But they have like a third party like vendor or something. And I never know that when I'm shopping, right? And they will sell you these super thin like you can see through this, okay? Like you can literally see through it. Super thin and then like crusty, like just like janky prints. Like the shirt is janky, the print is janky. It's not like what you're used to getting when you go to the store. This is like someone made it at home and sold it. And I just know it's gonna dry funny. And so that really annoys me when that happens. It never feels that it happens with Hot Topic because I can't tell the difference between like what's an officially licensed thing and like what is this random like other supplier they're gonna send me. And it always comes from a different place. It doesn't come from Hot Topic. It like comes direct from someone else. Then this is actually fun. This is something different. Um, I ended up ordering from Karina Garcia's company and it's called uh, Squishy Bunny. She is uh, the slime queen. <laughs> so I ended up ordering from them because they did like this I don't know. I don't even know if my kids are into it anymore. Oh, they put like little freebies in there. And um, I think this is like the activator stuff that they send with it. But they're so cute, you guys. So if you have a, like someone who likes slime or whatever, um, I don't know if they'll still have things available at this point, but you can't see it, but this one has like little snowflakes in it. They're so cute. And they have like some that look like conchas. Those ones sell out in like a, the blink of an eye. So don't even try it. I don't know. I don't know like who's gonna be into it or which kid I'm gonna give it to. Like could be my nieces and nephews, whatever. But I just decided to buy some because I wanted to support her brand. Okay, my camera just died. I don't know if any of that recorded, but anyway. I just took my first bite of this beef ramen and the answer is no. Um, I gotta take another bite so I can figure out why. It's a no. And the fact that it's like four bucks for a pack of ramen, it's, it's a no. It's an absolute hard pass. And I have three more packs in there, girl. No, two more. Good job, good job, Sarah. Cause I almost bought two of each and then I was like, mm, maybe you should try these first. Just the second it touched my tongue, you could tell the texture was off. The flavor of the broth is fine. Get a handful of rubber bands, sprinkle a little beef bouillon on it, and then stick it in your mouth. And then pay somebody $4 for that because that's exactly what this tastes like. No, it's not even worth finishing. I'm gonna finish it though, girl. I'm not about to waste this $4 uh, rubber band noodles. It's not even worth finishing. That is not good. <laughs> no, thank you. Anyway, I'm about to edit you guys up for the day. So, hope you've enjoyed today's very regular, regular day once again. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, tomorrow we're making cookies all day. So, if you powered through this one, girl, I will see you tomorrow with a warm kitchen full of bacon sugar. Ugh, not bacon sugar. Baking sugar. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Very low energy today. Sorry.